This morning I'm going to do a kiln opening and I am just going to open, it's, there's not a lot in the kiln, I just did a quick fire. I'm making these cute little bowls for a customer and um, these are the last of them of the set that I had to do for her or had to fire. So let's have a look and see what's inside. Right. As you can see, I don't have a very big kiln, so I can't get a lot in my kiln. But believe me, this little thing, it makes magic. Okay, so this was a short little request that she had, or short notice request that she had. She asked me if I could make a little bowl with a few little hearts, and she wants it to be like a little wind chime. Um, she wants the little hearts to hang here at the bottom, and she wants to give it to someone as a gift. So she, she wants the colors on it, blue, green, and red. So I just did a bit of a sponge effect and I just sponged it on. And yeah, that is it. It warped a little bit, I can see, on this side. Don't know if you can see it in the camera, but yeah. But it will work. If you put a nice rope in, I'm sure it will work. I just need to grind these little pieces off. I don't know if it's just my, I don't understand, but sometimes I've got an underglaze, which is from, from um, I think it's clay bright, and it sometimes feels to me like it's got a little bit of a, a shine in it or a little bit of a I mean I haven't added any clear glaze on this side only on the outside well you can clearly see it's nice and shiny oh, goodness my filming one day I'll have a very good camera I'll have the perfect light setting I'm I'm working on it so just keep just work just be with bear with me um but on the inside and and this is Amico's clear glaze, but what I did is I I tried to stay a little bit away from the edge so that there might be no running or anything. And look, it's still it it stuck. And I put it on a on a on a on the top of a cookie shelf type of thing, and it still got stuck as if it was glaze. I don't understand. But yeah, I'm still learning, so yeah, so this is it. So this is it. There we go. That's better. Okay, so that's it. So it's a little bowl, upside down bowl that's going to hang like this. And then we're going to have all the little hearts that's going to hang all over, different size little hearts. And the hearts is painted the same underglaze or it's the same colors as this bowl. And then she's going to put some nice rope in it and I think it's going to look really sweet. So yeah, the inside I must now just dab, I think I must just dab a little bit more of the green underglaze here or the red maybe. And then just give it a good clear glaze. <clears throat> so these are the bowls that I made for the customer. And it's very cute on the inside. It's got a recipe if you can see. So it's a beautiful recipe, a salad recipe, it's inside, and then it's got the little heart in the middle, and it's super cute. I love these bowls. It takes a while to do, because some of the recipes are quite long, but yeah, this is the three bean salad. Outside. It's got a slight carve, if you can see it, and just glazed at the bottom, or glazed on the outside. And that's these little bowls, they're so cute. It's done in Afrikaans, this recipe. Okay.
Oh, I love the blue. I love this green blue color. I just need to make sure that it's not cracked anywhere, no cracks or anything. I could have given this a bit of a thicker coat. Strange, I did give it more than three coats on now. But anyway, here we go. So here's the next one. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so this is the next recipe. <clears throat> this is a type of a bread recipe. So the whole recipe is on you, the ingredients. <clears throat> the ingredients is on you, all the steps of how to make it. So the full recipe is on and at the end she says enjoy it's so cute and then it's got the little heart in the middle outside again carved slight carving in it and then glazed see there i could have added a little bit more thicker coat but it will work. It's beautiful. It's super cute. I think out of all the colours that I've done, the white stays my favourite. I love the white. Oh, this white is just... Oh, so beautiful. Wow. I couldn't have asked for any better. Golly gosh. It is just so cute. So freaking cute. Look at it. This is a pancake recipe in here. Oh. What do you guys think? This is super cute. Also a bit of a carving on the outside. I'm so sorry that my lighting isn't that good. My kiln is in our garage, so... And I've got this big sliding door here that looks out onto the pool and a lot of light comes in. Um, maybe I should get a curtain here and when I do my forming I can just close up so that the light doesn't come in so much. Yeah, this is good. I do like it. Okay, so that's it. All good. I'm very pleased. I'm very, very pleased with this bowl. This one is absolutely my favorite, the white one.